Wants them squeezed all right. Here they go. Out of the gates. The Whipple Supercharger. You're looking to wind this bad boy up down the back straight. The little road deck is humming. Nick's a bit of a sleeping dog. He would have sat back and said, I'll just leave those blades until the end. We'll just arrive. And arrive he has as we go through to the split. Oh, out of the gas there. 21.178. Nothing wrong with the split, but he really got out of the gas, I thought. Attacks the old baldy. Really putting the foot down now. Loads up. Lost a fair bit of talk there. Like we said with John Berry and uh, Dave Simmons earlier when they were losing a little bit of spooling, I thought he went a little bit off song there. Coming home. With a 45.607. Well, I think a 45 is the best time he's had all day, to be honest. So he's put out his last to best. He's got a fist pump. There you go. They're happy. 45 is what they wanted. Is it enough? We know Peter Coey, we know Blake Bryant, and we know Sir Rob the Third are still to come. And don't forget Richard Murray in the big green the machine. machine. The 440 animal Ford could be the next cab off the rank, actually. So either that or Rob Coley, I think. I just got to try and uh, try and catch a catch a look down the pits. Here we go, it's Baden Gray, the blanket man, our Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Prosper mortgages. Wrap up, brother. <laughs> He's getting ready for winter, but he was getting a bit early. Yeah, a little bit premature. Righto. His time to beat. He's just seen it as a 45 from Nick Berryman, 45-6. Baden Gray, he'll be looking to grab everything he can here. Here she goes. Posted a 46.128 in the top nine, so... And he was quite untidy in a number of sections, so he'll be looking to improve this. Twin Turbo, no sign of the pop-off fouls this time, so he's gone and done a bit of work on those. The blow-offs were not going there. Kept up, spooled up. Away she goes. This is a good drive by Baden so far. A little bit of a pop. Off the juice a couple of times, but it should be enough. Split's looking good, 21-4, so he's right on Nick Berryman. This is where he runs out of crusties. Oh, a little bit gentle there. A little bit uh, too much gentle, I would say. That's yeah, cost him a lot. You'll see how the boat across got... the wake here. Yeah, totally unsettled. Just looking to make up some time here around the speed bowl. Coming really over the big finish. Oh, very hungry towards the finish there. Well, 46.6, 46. six, just a second. So Nick, Nick Berryman diving in in front of him there, and uh, really it all came down to the cutting. Yeah. Absolutely, it was a it's dream a run. Second in that. Yeah, easy, easy, dream run. But have a listen, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, here she comes, the caged animal. We're about to unleash the beast. 440 cubes, 1500 horsepower, 31 litres of methanol on board. And he will use every drop, every ounce. Hang on to your seats. You've got to get behind it if you can handle it. Scavey would say, hang on to the small children. <laughs> he will pedal it, he will chuck everything at it. 44, here we come. As he lights the wick. The mighty mean machina. Look at this thing fly. She's about to hit walk speed down the back here. Beautifully out of there. A little bit of earth as well. Oh, look at that. I Beautiful. love this line. That line was fantastic, Sammy. Split. What are we looking? We're looking at a 20.775, so he's have, a lot better there. Have to be one of the best splits we've seen through yep. there. A lot more aggressive in baiting through there. Here comes the big bean machine. I just saw Jay Rathbone go, give it some more. I want more. Come on. Pour it on. Here comes Rich bringing it out. Round the back. Julia Murray's clapping already. Here we go. Cross the line. 45. Oh, two. Great run. But I, I really thought we had a 44 there, but a 45, 209. That was fantastic. Great effort, Richard Murray. Very quick first sector there. That split was well healthy. Absolutely, yeah, no, it was tidy run. He's, he's sort of been at it all day. Second green, green machine to come off the... Uh, they off seem to be chasing each other, the green machines. They do, they do. This this will be it. Righto, we have got 45 seconds, 209 to beat Richard Murray at the top of the tree at the moment.
You'll expect nothing more than just another smooth run from Blake and Kate. Beautifully out of the gate. All they would have looked at is their previous time and they'll want to improve on that. Very, very analytic this team. And have a look at the way it goes. The boat sitting beautifully on the water. Absolutely. They smooth as. Leave no stone unturned. A little bit out of the juice there, but nice job. I think he's carried good boat speed anyway. Split tells us a story. Well out of the 20.5. And a hell of a roll-off. Well, big roll-off. And that's where it caught him out last time. It's looking beautifully through there. So certainly odds on we've got a 44 coming here. Because quick second sector. Absolutely. Nicely beats the water. That rough bit of water I was talking about. Blake finds it and gets through it. Nice finish here. And looking just it round the speed up now. Bowl. Nicely cut through there. With a 44.445. Uh, all the fours. I tell you what, that was all class. Well done. Blake and Kate, 44s, Excellent .44 bars, bugs. Their fastest time of the day. That is just getting better and better, and that is great to see. The Bryant's been around for years. The confidence is back. That's the sort of racing we used to see with Blake in Group A days. So that was really, and I know he had plenty left there, a couple of back-offs. There's easy a 43 yep. in that boat. There's no doubt about it. He made that look really simple. Right Righto, top of the page. Blake and Kate, Sir Rob Coley, with a borrowed boat, the Stinger, he touched up an oil and had a bit of a, uh, an interesting run last time. This is, get on the edge of your seats, he's got the old um, bit of wood under his foot and he's got the cushion he's sitting on. He looks a tad uncomfortable in there, yep. but let's get behind him, people, because Sir Rob the third. Do, the only time he'd be taller than Anne sitting in the boat. <laughs> Here he goes. He's not scared of the power. That doesn't worry him. He just needs to see over the dashboard. But there he go. <laughs> the cushion's doing the job today. Rob brings the old turbo, he twin will, turbo. He will do everything in his might to reel this one in. Spooling it up nicely, not a problem. At this stage, calm as we go. Beautifully around there. Little bit hook up. Tidy righty. Split. A little bit down on the split. Slightly down on what we just saw with Blake, but he's still got the chance. He's got the power to bring it home. Fair bit out of the gas. Now he's going to do the work to bring it home. This is where he got a bit untidy last time. Cut the wake there just beautifully. Keep that boat speed up. Nice lines through there. You can hear those turbos spooled up. That's all he's going to do Let's this can, time around. This round. is a little bit tidier. Oh, yeah. That's more Rob. Oh, beautiful. 45.838, his best run. He'll be happy. The boat's in one piece, and he's put his best time down. Whether that's going to be good enough, who knows? But he's got a 45.838. He's just slipped himself into fourth position. But we still have, I think, at the moment, Peter Coey to Pistol come. Pete Coey. Yeah. We have got Pete. Pete to go. At As this looks, stage, Blake Rob. Bryant and Richard Murray has snuck his way in there. Yep. Wow. Nick Berryman on the bubble. Unfortunately, that's the end of uh, Mad Dog Coley. That's him. Um, I'll tell you what, he's done well because it was going to be a real painful day if, he, if that had happened yep. in uh, Qual 1. It's all valuable points. I don't know if we need to say anything here. You can just sit in awe sometimes and watch this thing go round. Yeah. Unbelievable. Just when you think there's nothing else left, he winds another second out of it. Yeah. You do look at it. He's so, so statistical. Look at the way he's attacking Baldy. Here comes the split. Watch this. It'll be a jaw dropper. 20.065. There you go. And he One. rolled right out of it too. Yeah, rolled right off. Oh, Even so here. calm. There you go. Two cigar sinks and a yep. coke. And there you go. He goes back out of the drive through and around the bottom of the track. Now, three turns to go. Again, doesn't need to do anything silly. As you said earlier in the day, Sam. Yep. Now, he, all he's got to do is finish the race. And he'll finish it strong with a nice run of a 44.307. 44.307. So Blake Bryant, one nipping at, his, nipping at his heels. Right at his heels. We know Blake's boats has got some more. We know it's there. He will look at the times. Peter's right there. Our top three boats at the moment is Peter Coey, Blake Bryant, and Richard Murray in the Ford 440 supercharged Mina Machina. Whoa.